Hello, everybody! This is Wilson Jett from the Guided Missile, and I have a genuinely useful video for you today. It's amazing, right? So far, I've just done montages and failtages and videos where I talk about how much I suck, but earlier this week, I learned something. I'm going to show you what it is. Check this out. This is the magical M240B. Lay down. This thing is beast. I've played the game for nearly 400 hours, and according to Battle Log, I have used this gun for about two and a half minutes. And in that time, I killed three people, so I don't know why I never came back to it. I guess I just picked it up off a dead guy, and I was anxious to get back to whatever weapon I had, because I didn't want a machine gun. But I'm going to go fully automatic with this weapon right here. Go John J. Rambo. Just dump the clip, hold down the trigger, and see what happens. And it has a ton of recoil. And before you make fun of me. Yes, my aim is, is bad, but it's not that bad. No, it's pretty bad. But I did do that on purpose. I wanted to see what would happen if I just held down the trigger. Also has a very long reload time. We'll get to that in a minute. Now watch me throw this grenade right through the fence. My aim is pretty good, right? Better than you thought. I threw that grenade right through the fence. So what's an M240B? Well, it is formally called the United States Machine Gun. It's used by the US military. It is a belt-fed, gas-operated medium machine gun which fires a 7.62 NATO cartridge. The M240B is the U.S. designation for the Belgian FN Mag 58. Fascinating. What does it all mean, Wilson? What does it all mean? Basically what it means is it's a big-ass gun with a lot of bullets and when you hold down the trigger those bullets come out and people fall over dead and it goes and it's awesome. That's really what you need to know. Uh, apparently, it's been in use by the U.S. military since the, the late 70s. And the B, or Bravo, is a, look at that, a little M1911 kill. And then uh, I'm going to get it while I try to reload. It's like an eight-second reload. Bravo is the infantry variant of the weapon. That's why it's called an M240B. And this weapon is used extensively as an infantry weapon. Although uh, it is also used on Jeeps and Humvees, other ground vehicles, watercraft and aircraft. Uh, Check this out right here. I was talking a little bit to Toro and Delta uh, about this gun because I was getting excited about it. And uh, in the background you can hear them recounting some of their personal experiences with the weapon because they, they both have some military experience. And uh, they were talking about how heavy it is to use in an infantry sense. So this is not a gun that uh, gets you some of that hip fire. Once you learn to control the recoil, you, you can do some of that too. Um, because this, this gun is kind of special in one particular sense, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, this is not a gun that Wilson Jett would probably be carrying around in real life, because I'm an old man and I think I would throw out my back. It's just too heavy. I probably need to stick to like a uh, PP2000 or something like that. It's heavy, man. I had to lug one around yeah. for, like, uh, that Victory Forge. Yeah, there you go. Before I continue, let me just point this out for a second. If you're playing support class, throw out your bro boxes, bro. Get you a ton of points. Right here, I get a 542-point chain off of mostly resupplies. Because when guys shoot stuff, they tend to stop and shoot stuff. So you just drop bullets at their feet. They get to shoot stuff longer, which is great. And you get points for it, which is awesome. These guys coming through the archway right here, they don't stand a chance. I ain't scared, but I got more bullets than you. I'm going to go John Jay on them. Go John Jay, Wilson! I'm excited about this gun right now, if you couldn't tell. You guys have got to try it out. I wanted to find out what it is about this weapon that these support class campers know that we don't. Why is it that more often than not, when you encounter one of these support class camper guys that's up on the third floor of the J building on this particular map and stays up there the whole round with his stinking claymores, you know what I'm talking about, Sevens. Why is it that they're usually using the M240B? There must be a reason, right? So I went on to Semphic.com and I looked at the weapon stats and I discovered something very surprising. The weapon does 34 max damage out to 8 meters. That damage goes down to 22 at 60. There are only two other machine guns in the game that do that much damage, the PKP and the M60. Of those three weapons, the M240B has the fastest rate of fire at 650 rounds per minute, which is significant. 
Now, for comparison's sake, the saw, which we all know is a fast machine gun, it fires at 800 rounds per minute, whereas the PKP only fires at 600 rounds per minute. So it's doing a ton of damage very quickly. Because it deals so much damage, the gun is penalized with terrible recoil and a really long reload time. The reload time is 6.2 seconds, which is slower than everything except for an M60 and a Type 88. Make sure you get in a good safe spot before you try and reload. Watch me take that guy's head off. There you go. That's It deals damage quickly. There's also a bunch of recoil. Okay, wait. Wait a sec. What am I doing right here? The sniper is sitting right there. But I'm like, die, MAV, die. I've got to kill that MAV first. But I do get him, and then I have the audacity to teabag him vigorously. I'm embarrassed by that. But that's how my mind works at 2 a.m. because it's past my bedtime. Okay, so let's look at some of this recoil. The gun has terrible recoil, some of the worst in the game. It's 0.7 straight up. 0.5 side to side. So at least the recoil is balanced. But when you drop the hammer on this gun, it is going to rake straight up. You just learn to recoil, uh, r control that, and pull down as you're firing. And it's not so bad. In terms of attachments, what you want to use is a flash suppressor, because the flash suppressor reduces that 0.7 vertical recoil to a 0.497, reduces it by over 0.2, which is significant. And the flash suppressor gives no penalties whatsoever. There is no disadvantage to using it. It's only good things, so you definitely want to put that on there because it controls the worst thing about the gun. Now that was a good kill right there. I found that you want to use about a 10-round burst. A 10-round burst should keep it on target. If you do this and you go Rambo, it's going to be bouncing, bouncing all over the place. But if you get a guy in your sights, 10 rounds, you can pick off a lot of targets, and this thing is a killing machine. Put that flash suppressor on there. Stay away from the foregrip. The foregrip is bad. Don't use it because it only reduces the side-to-side -side recoil 20% from 0.5 to 0.4, and it ruins your aim down the sight accuracy. Absolutely ruins it. So you just want to stay away from it. What you want is the bipod. The bipod has no penalties, but it makes this thing ridiculously accurate from a prone position. If you're bipoded down up on a ledge or you're prone, your aim down the sight accuracy makes you almost sniper-like with this weapon. That's why the support class campers are so effective with the M240B. But let's talk about the main advantage to the weapon. What makes it just extra special. Here you go. Time to kill. I never really considered this before and knew that there was a chart for it, but there is. In terms of time to kill, the M240B is one of the most effective weapons in Battlefield 3. In fact, it's superior to most of the assault rifles. From point-blank range, there is only one weapon in this game that kills faster than the M240B, and it's the FAMAS, which fires at a thousand rounds per minute. I'll just let you ruminate on that for a second. A gun that fires at a thousand rounds per minute is only marginally better than the M240B at killing from close range. FAMAS kills people in 182 milliseconds, while the M240B kills in 186 milliseconds, which is nothing, basically. You're not going to notice the difference. The difference is, you can't hit anything with a FAMAS, because the recoil is all over the place, and you're going to run out of bullets while you're trying to figure it out. M240B, you have time to correct and kill a guy, and another guy, and another guy. But let's talk about normal engagements. That 10 meter range, where you're going to meet most of the opponents in this game, from about 30 to 35 feet. Well, guess what? The M240B is the number one weapon in all of Battlefield 3 in terms of time to kill from 10 meters. I couldn't believe it either kills in 201 milliseconds, which leads all weapons by a mile. In fact, the second place gun is the 93R machine pistol, which was designed to kill people from close range, which is crazy. The only thing that's even close to the M240B from 10 meters are semi-automatic sniper rifles. Yeah, that's it. If you go all the way out to 60 meters, where the damage drops off to 22, the only guns that are better than the M240B are all assault rifles, and they're the very fast assault rifles. The FAMAS, the F2000, the KH2002, and even my beloved AEK971. Those are the only guns that are somewhat better than the M240B. This gun is almost identical in performance to the M16 at range. So try it out. The M240B, it's magical. It lays people down. It makes them fall over dead. It's great. In terms of scopes, I haven't really gotten there yet. I think I got around, I don't know, 100 kills or something. I kind of like the holographic side on it, but I'm guessing that your uh, 
what's it called? PSA hollow. The round one with a little holographic sight. I'm guessing that guy cracked me up, by the way. He, he went Bleh! with his grenade, and I'm just like, get murked in the head. Anyway, M240B, I, this is this is my new favorite thing right now. Cause it, it is very satisfying to go Rambo on somebody occasionally and know that you have the ability in close quarters just to absolutely take their head off. Hope you got something out of this. This is my first informative video. Yay! I actually figured something out and wanted to share it with you guys. Um, if I come across anything else, I will definitely let you know. Um, this is a crazy game, by the way, but I did get a ton of achievements and points, and that's all good. You gotta like that. I have one more thing for you here right at the end. You've probably been waiting for this. Here it is. Oh, I it. Yeah, later.